There are plans to make a Vermilion County intersection safer. The Indiana Department of Transportation hosted a public hearing earlier tonight. They're discussing the area of State Road 63 and East County Road 1650 North. You can see a map of that area right there on your screen. The plan is to change a section of the median, update lighting, and add signs. News 10's Kit Hanley was at that meeting. She has more on the plan and why some have concerns. INDOT has a plan to reduce the number of crashes in this specific intersection behind me. As you can see, it's near the Beef House on State Road 63. The Indiana Department of Transportation has plans to make some changes to a section of State Road 63. You can see it here. It's the intersection of County Road 1650 North near the Beef House in Highland Township. Since 2019, there have been 18 crashes, including one fatality in this area. Megan Delucine with NDOT says the goal is to improve safety and reduce the number of crashes. So we're planning to put in an RCI right now, which is reduced conflict intersection, and it's exactly as it sounds. You are reducing the points of where vehicles can collide. The reduced conflict intersection, or RCI, will eliminate 20 of the dangerous conflict points, taking that number from 24 down to 4. The plan is to eliminate an existing median, add signage, and lights. Construction will be done in two phases. Phase one will include outside construction on the shoulders. Phase two will be inside lane construction. Delucine says travel should not be impacted. So we'll be able to get through. You might have to slow down a little bit, but we will be making sure that we're doing work in phases so we don't have to actually close the whole thing. Still, county leaders like RJ Donovan are worried that fixing this intersection will just move those conflict points further north. He wants them to look at other options. I'm just not sold on the fact that this J-turn is going to fix everything. And you know, I may be wrong. They may install it and it may reduce the crashes, but you're making semis cross more lanes of traffic now, block more roads. He says many community members agree. So I think they're all concerned that they don't want this J-turn. They've seen it in bigger cities. They've seen it in other their communities and and they just they don't see the safety aspect from it. NDOT is taking comments from the public through March 1st. Construction is currently scheduled to begin in spring of 2024. It will continue through that summer. Reporting in Vermilion County, Kit Hanley, News 10.